They're actually gonna go into the backyard. It says no PG and E. Look at Chris Jennings. This will give you guys a better visual. I'm just being safe and taking the precautions. Ohana, this is the layout. Look at Tiki Falls. Dude, this is Joey. Joey Keys. We're talking about Tiki Falls 4.0. <laughs> Aloha, my ohana. It's your boy back in it to win it. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. As you can see, the above ground koi and goldfish pond is doing great. But not only that though, on this channel, we talk about everything aquatics. And this here is a heavy anticipated video that I know all of you guys, especially those of you that have been on my channel, have been waiting for. We're talking about Tiki Falls 4.0. Now, if you have no idea what Tiki Falls 3.0 is, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Before I show you guys, and if you're new to the channel, I'm gonna, a jet fighter, so noisy. I'm gonna show you guys what Tiki Falls used to look like so you can get it set in your mind and be mentally prepared on what you're going to see next, all right? So let me show you some old footage of Tiki Falls when it was Beautiful, all right? Check it out. Wasn't Tiki Falls 3.0 just beautiful, right? Just looked like a little slice of paradise here in Sacramento, in my backyard. Now, before Tiki Falls 3.0, there was 1.0, or just regular Tiki Falls, which was just one side, a little pond, um, you know, very simple. And then I added another separate waterfall, so it had two waterfalls, which I call Tiki Falls 2.0. And then I added an addition, made a little canal, and added another like 400, 500 gallons, which made it Tiki Falls 3.0. Now, if you guys don't know who Greg Whitstock is, he is the owner and founder of Aquascape. And he always says on his videos, on his vlogs, on his YouTube channel, that the typical pond owner will always have three different types of ponds. Big, bigger, biggest. Well, I am going to go into gigantic, okay? We're going into the fourth stage. This is where I'm gonna break things down for you guys. Uh, we did break ground on Tiki Falls, and I'm about to show that to you guys. Uh, but first, but first, before we jump into this, if you're not part of my Ohana, this is the perfect opportunity to jump on board, right? Hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. It's a notification bell. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video and it doesn't cost you a thing. That's how you become part of the Ohana. Be cool like everybody else. Hit that subscribe button. Oh yeah, Ohana, before I forget, I gotta give a huge shout out to Gus, Alex, and Art. Thank you guys so much for the super thanks. Now, Ohana, if you guys have no idea what the super thanks is, it's just kind of a simple way to appreciate what I'm doing here on YouTube for you guys. And not only that, all the super thanks donations go right into Tiki Falls 4.0 fund, which costs a lot of money. So if you do give me a super thanks, I appreciate you. But not only that though, I definitely will shout you out in a video. I'm sorry it took so long, guys. Um, I didn't see it, I had no idea. I mentioned it in one of my videos about the Super Thanks. They're sort of like Super Chats on live stream, but Super Thanks just makes it easy to donate and say thank you to your creator that you love so much. No, but seriously, not only that though, it just really helps the channel out and I really do appreciate it. I had no idea that I got a super thanks. You guys were the first three that did it. Now I talked about super thanks in one of my videos and uh, it kind of explains it in detail. Let me run that clip for you guys just in case you guys wanna know what a super thanks is. If you go by the like button and you scroll to the right, you'll see a little tab called thanks. Click on that tab and you'll see these little tabs and donations. You can make these donations, which helps the channel grow, meaning I can do more things. It helps with Tiki Lounge, it helps with Tiki Falls 4.0, and I thought it was kind of cool. It's sort of like other creators on YouTube, how they have Patreons and you can donate to their channel. It's the exact same thing, but it's just called a super thanks. YouTube makes it really easy to do and I really appreciate it. All right, Ohana, now that we got that out of the way, let me show you Tiki Falls. 3.0. OMGZ, my Ohana, would you take a look at Tiki Falls? It's one big hot mess. You know, that water's been in there for a couple days now. My soil, I should say, is a clay base. So this water will eventually drain, but as of right now, 
The pond liner is out. As you can see, Tiki Falls, there is no falls anymore. All the rocks are pretty much gone. A lot of work, Ohana, a lot of work. You can see the ledge work. I didn't actually break that PVC pipe, but you can actually see uh, the ledge work as it comes around. But yeah, I just had to show you this. Uh, pretty wild, it's been uh, a lot of work. You can see this side of Tiki Falls, I just cannot drain because we do have the baby koi and the comet goldfish in here, which is four baby koi and one comet goldfish. So a total of five fish on this side. That's it. I left this one going. This pump here is, uh, I think a 2200 gallon per hour pump. So that's a good pump. And it is being filtered by this um, Aquascape 1000 Biofalls. So it's suitable for a thousand gallons. This is probably about 400 gallons, if that, of water in here. But look at the scape, all the rocks are gone. Your boy did some work, I'm telling you, man. A lot of work, but I mean, you can see how different it looks. Right, Ohana? It looks so different. The scape, everything is gone. I mean, I don't, I don't even know if you remember, but there was a, a waterfall spillway right here and the water went this way and then dropped into Tiki Falls here. We have the waterfall here that was going into Tiki Falls and then obviously uh, the canal was going straight through here. Uh, the perforated pipe right there for hydrostatic pressure. You can see it, it goes underneath this pond liner all the way down and then it drains out over there. But we're gonna get into more of the details about Tiki Falls. Um, it just looks so different. And if you guys don't remember what it looked like, I just showed you a little video. Let me just show you another clip of what Tiki Falls looked like from this angle. Check it out. Yeah, totally different, right? Totally different. All right, my Ohana, let's get into more specifics. Before we do the big dig on Tiki Falls 4.0, there are certain guidelines that we gotta follow. So let me go into details and talk to you about that. So as you can see behind me, PG&E is here. They're actually gonna go into the backyard and mark where I'm going to be digging Tiki Falls 4.0. Now, if you guys didn't know, here in California, there's a number called 811. It's called call before you dig. So if you're doing a DIY project in your backyard, uh, they say to call this number. And what they do is they contact all the companies that are associated with their house, whether it be gas, electricity, and water. So what they do is they send workers out here and they will paint your backyard. Not literally paint it, but you know, they have the little paint guns and they'll put where certain things are. So if you've got a big sewage line running through your backyard, they will mark it uh, with paint to let you know. So you know where to dig and where you can't dig. So. For the most part, I was just talking to the PG&E guy, most of the stuff is in the front yard, not so much here in the backyard because, well, you know, people put pools in their backyard. So they normally don't have things running through here, but it is the law and it's more or less, you'd rather be safe than sorry. So, you know, <clears throat> marking the backyard and whatnot with the companies that come out here, uh, I'm just being safe and taking the precautions. So. Look into it before you just start grabbing a shovel and start digging. Here's a shovel. Can you dig it, fool? Can you dig it? Can y'all dig it? Especially like three feet deep, you just never know. You don't want to, you know, hit a gas line and all of a sudden, boom! All right, my Ohana. So I just had PG&E come right down here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe I'll turn my camera around. Check it out. It says no PG&E. So from my PG&E, which is my electric and gas, there are no electricity or power lines or any type of gas lines running through this area, which I'm going to dig out. Now you see the flags way over there. Those flags are merely where I'm gonna put in posts, these steel beam posts down in there to uh, actually stack up some boulders so it kind of holds everything in. We're gonna be throwing dirt over here because this whole entire area here is where the waterfall is gonna go, okay? So let me show you guys a little bit more in detail about the layout. I'm gonna show you exactly where Tiki Falls 4.0 is going. Yep, we're gonna take this red paint. This will give you guys a better visual. 
boom just like that ohana this is the layout i'm going to go over the strict details now you can see the red paint and you see these white flags now when i dialed 811 and had them come out pg and e my uh waste management came out and marked the ground to make sure i didn't have any electricity pipes or sewage lines or any gas lines running through my yard where i'm going to dig they said i had a market with either white flags or white paint where i'm going to be digging so i outlined this area with red paint for you guys but as far as the white flags go this is all going to be pond so as you see the red paint starts right over there in the corner it's coming down straight across we're going to fill all that in with dirt but it's going to literally come straight across i'm going to give you the angle okay straight across here to this side and maybe we'll put somewhere over here a skimmer because over there in that section where you see that big x that's going to be all waterfall so this is going to be slant slanting upwards so that's not going to be dug at all just this big area the red outline paint is going to be pond which is going to be huge for my fish and i just can't wait i actually dug up all the plants and all the ground rock there was a bunch of decorative rock and this is where i moved it over here look at all my plants i repotted them with in buckets and planters and i ran my drip line which i have here so everyone's getting water i don't have to worry about watering them on the daily i had a sago palm in there um asparagus plant purple heart um gardenia like you see right there red canna oh well you can kind of see my hibiscus is kind of dying uh but it's okay they all they're all getting water um and they're pretty hardy plants look at this big red can i have up over here but that's where all the plants are i dug them all up stuck them in the uh, planters here we're going to reuse them because hey you guys know plants are super expensive now as we walk over here look at this root system here for this stump this stump is going to be a pain in the butt to dig up um, i do have an excavator coming which my boy dennis is going to be bringing so that's going to pretty much dig this area here so i'm going to take a step down into it um, i can't wait to remove this stump though this tree is probably about 10 years old when we cut it down but look at the roots look how thick they go everywhere it was such a pain in the butt to move all this decorative rock see all this decorative rock right here that's what was down in all these grooves all the way through here i dug it all out dug it all out we do have a little tree here um, it's a crate myrtle that'll be an easy stump to dig up the falls that was right here by this crate myrtle that kind of turned dog leg left went right into the pond there i do want the pond to come right up to the concrete slab right there you can come, see the concrete slab i want it to come out there so as you walk out of the slider you come up and it's super inviting right here and then i might have the pond curve in make a ledge here have some rocks there some plants around the side and then more rocks here going around and i might make this area here maybe a a shallow area like maybe a foot like this area right here and then it dropped down to about three feet the pond's going to be three feet deep that's as deep as i'm going to go so um this right here i might make about one foot deep and kind of make it a little walking area so i know my weenie dogs will come out here they can get a drink of the water they love drinking um and then as you can see the red line continues which is all going to be pond and i kind of cut in here and this area here is going to be the waterfall area all right so we'll have rocks i want like a little maybe the waterfall to start here and kind of shift here and then shift this way kind of work its way down and then drop eventually somewhere right here into the pond i also want to add um in the waterfalls because we'll have some pooling areas here it'll start up high and just kind of come down low down into the pond uh, maybe my tiki that i have since it's tiki falls check it out you guys may have forgot about this tiki that my basketball players that i coach gave me as a uh, a gift at the end of the season it actually comes with a pump you can kind of see down here there's a hose you just plug in a pump the pump pumps the water up through and it comes out through the top and kind of just trickles over the top down back inside uh of the um the fixture there the tiki fixture but how cool will that look like over here or over there maybe i get a couple of them 
and uh, as the waterfall is turning and twisting, there's a couple tiki's there. That would be sick, right? Um, actually, I have a really good idea. All right, here's my idea. Greg Whitstock, if you're watching this video or if any of your staff is watching my video, you guys have those beautiful stack slate urns, those water feature fixtures that look beautiful, the stone urns, those are, I mean, he's got some beautiful products. I think you guys need to produce a tiki water feature that can go with a pond like I'm creating. Now it's not just me, I know there's gonna be millions of people across the world that's gonna to wanna to bring a slice of paradise to their backyard. And I think it would be a great idea and I would stick them in my waterfall like in a pooling area. Ooh, it would look so awesome. Right behind me, imagine the waterfall coming down, a couple tiki's here with water coming off the top of them. I'm telling you, you guys can probably make something beautiful. And like I said, I would get a couple and add them to Tiki Fall. So just an idea for you guys, all right, Aquascape? This big X area is where the waterfall is going to be, right? It's gonna be going left to right, right to left. These white flags here, I'm gonna be digging holes where those white flags are. I was just giving the guys that were coming here from 811 an idea where I was gonna dig because we are gonna put these steel beams in here that I got from my boy Dennis. Now the steel beams are gonna be a barrier, right? We're gonna have them in maybe about four feet down into the ground and we're gonna actually put rock up against it. So it's gonna be like a nice barrier with some dirt. It'll hold everything in behind it. And over here on this area, as you see all my boulders that I've been collecting from my boy Dennis, he's been dropping off. All this rock is gonna be gone. Obviously, it's gonna be in the pond, right? And this area here will be like a putting green is what I wanna put one day. It's not all gonna happen, you know? It costs a lot of money, but I wanna do a little putting green here, like three holes in here, fake grass, and it would just blend in with the waterfall scape. Imagine just playing a little putt-putt golf or miniature golf right over here. Nice waterfall going over here. Um, I don't know what's gonna go over here, but <laughs> I'm just giving you guys an idea. You got fish swimming over here, the pond. Oh, it's gonna be gorgeous, guys. I'm giving you guys my visual. Now, all the rocks from Tiki Falls, look it, they're all right here. Yeah, all of these rocks, I had to uh, physically, each rock put in a wheelbarrow, and which you can see my wheelbarrow over there, <laughs> and wheel them over here. So. These rocks, obviously, we're gonna reuse. I even actually dug up, you got some of the slate over here. And look at all the pond pebble. Yeah, I'm reusing all this stuff, man. This stuff costs money, you know, because when you're balling on a budget, you need to save everything. I even have the decorative black stone that I actually saved. And in this tarp here, I have more pond pebble. I just have it covered. Uh, this stuff here, I just recently washed, so it's clean and I'm gonna add it to that and cover it back up. And then under this tarp in here, I have a pea pebble, which is smaller um, gravel. So I'm saving everything, everything. So we're gonna reuse all this rock along with all of these boulders, which I'll probably get another batch of rock too. And there's some more boulders over there too as well. Now you guys may be thinking to yourself, well, what are you gonna line this with? It's gonna be a lot. As you can see it from afar here, it looks beautiful. You can see this is where the pond's gonna start. It's gonna come around, go all the way out there. You can kind of see the red line. It's gonna be a huge, beautiful pond. It's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of money. All right, so to give you guys a specific measurement of how big Tiki Falls 4.0 is gonna be, it is, we're gonna call it 29 and a half feet, as you can see, our red line. 29 and a half feet, give or take 30 feet by. And width wise, we got, uh, we're gonna call it about 18 feet. Right there is the red line, as you see it go all the way through. So we're looking at about 30 feet by 18 feet. Now this is the widest part of uh, the pond. So I'm just giving you guys the widest part. It kind of goes in, as you can see, and goes in over here. So it's not going to be exactly 30 by 18 square. I uh, just wanted to give you guys kind of like a ballpark figure of how big this Tiki Falls 4.0 is going to be. That's why I'm always asking for your help, Ohana. You don't have to like send any donations or anything. I'm just saying, just like this video. You give this video a big like and you pass it on to your friends and they like it and they like it and we get a million likes on this video, I might be able to just put this bad boy in next week. Uh, you never know. I'm just, you know, help me help you. Help me help you. But anyways, let me show you what else I got for Tiki Falls. All right, over here on the side of my house, I have this huge 
roll. Now you guys are probably wondering, what is this huge roll? This is my EPMD. But you should keep quiet while the MC rap, but if you tired, then go take a nap. On scratch that, not EPMD, that's the old 80s rap group. I meant EPDM. So close, right? So close. Anyways, that is my 40 mil pawn liner that I have right behind me, right over my shoulder there, all right? Let's take a look at it. You got the chill. Sorry, I got EPMD on my mind now, see? Anyways, this pawn liner here, as you look at the tag, 35 by 50. This is a roll of 35 by 50 EPDM 40 mil pawn liner. This right here cost me a pretty penny. This was like $1,700 for this roll, and it's like, 520 pounds it was super heavy it came on a pallet a ups cargo um it was insane i had this big rig outside of my house um i did put it on my instagram many moons ago when it arrived and then you can see over the time my boy dennis has been helping me out obviously because i don't know how to do this kind of stuff he's got the pvc pipe too that he's been bringing over and then remember i was telling you about the uh, metal beams right here we got these steel beams here that we're going to put in the ground. This is going to be our barrier. It's going to hold everything intact uh, behind the waterfall. And like I said, we just got some, you know, material here that we're slowly but surely building on right now. That's why Ohana, uh, it's taken me so long to redo Tiki Falls 4.0 it's going to cost a lot of money. That's why I'm always asking for the love and support from you guys. Just like the video or send it to your friends and have them like it, you know? Uh, it definitely helps the video go into the algorithm, which helps this video get more views. And that way it puts me closer into uh, creating Tiki Falls 4.0. So now that you see kind of the big picture of what's going on. Now this is my screen door, my patio door leading out to the backyard, all right? So this is what you're gonna see. The waterfall, right? The vision, beautiful waterfall. You're gonna be able to see from this window that's in the house and the big sliding window that I'm standing right in front of. So we'll be able to see all of this beauty right here. Of course, we got the above ground pond looking great. Everything's good there. And as you walk around out here, I want this pond to come right up to this patio, this concrete slab, maybe stop right there. This is all gonna be straight to the pond. And then right over here, it might go out. I might build a shelf, have some rock here. We'll plant some flowers, some plants right in here. Um, you know, maybe some annuals. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do. I'm definitely gonna re replant all my canna, you know, in various spots. I'll make pockets so they'll be coming out of the pond too. We have the pond lily that's gonna take over. This area here, a little shallow, about a foot, and then it'll drop down to three feet for the rest of the pond all the way throughout, which is gonna be sick. Now check this out. As I'm backing up, I'm gonna show you guys something. Right here, I'm gonna swing the camera around. That is my bedroom window. Okay, so from this angle here, I'm gonna turn around and you're gonna be able to see from the window what it looks like, right? I wanna be able to see this waterfall from this angle, which I will be able to see it, kind of turning right to left maybe, and then dropping in. So we'll be able to see from our window, which I'm standing right in front of. And then right over here, in this section here, I have this patio bowl from my boy, Ralph. Pondscape AZ, he actually sent it to me. I'm thinking about putting it right here and adding a little water feature and maybe cutting a notch out of the top of it and have it spilling back into the pond, which is gonna make it look really cool. And it's gonna look really nice for my bedroom window. As we open up our window in the morning, take a look out and just see paradise. Okay, so now you got the vision of Tiki Falls 4.0. That's what I wanna do. Um, now it's time to turn the vision into a reality. I know you guys have been waiting for me uh, to finish Tiki Falls 4.0 or get started on Tiki Falls 4.0. So this is the perfect video for you guys. I wanted to get all my ducks in a row before I made this video so you guys understand uh, the prep work into uh, making Tiki Falls 4.0 so much bigger than it is right now. Um, it's gonna take a lot of time, that's for sure and a lot of money, you know what I mean? But don't go anywhere, right? We're gonna go feed the koi in the above ground pond. Let's go. Well, here they are, my Ohana. Check out all the babies. Don't they look so good? We're gonna give them some food here. And they're actually pretty tame too. They're definitely not spooked or scared like they used to be. Oh, look at the Sarasa goldfish are looking good. They're looking beautiful. All the koi will be coming up here in a second. Look at all of them. Oh, just so beautiful. Look at this beautiful yellow one here. Love this dude. This is Joey. Joey Keys. Look at them all. 
Woo, so beautiful, huh? The colors, you actually can see them right here in the sun. Look at them all. I had to show you guys. Oh, there's the blind Shibukin goldfish right there. Daredevil. There, Daredevil. Look at them all. Oh, look at the black Oranda. Look at them. <laughs> my little chubbers. Look at This is my smallest koi that I own right there. That is a butterfly koi. He's tiny. Got him at PetSmart. He was part of the, the deal when I got those other Sarasas. Look at him. Eating his little pellets. Yeah, he's super tiny. All the fish are doing great. Look how colorful. Oh, there's my boy Chris right there. Chris Jennings right there. That Ginrin butterfly right here. Look at him. Look at Chris Jennings. Just stunning. Man. Look at them all. Doing so great, so colorful. I took down the sunshade cells too. It was about that time to take them down. So uh, this is all exposed. Looking great. I actually took the netting off just so I give you guys a nice little video of these guys. Beautiful. Look at them all. Woo wee. The colors on these fish are just simply breathtaking. Well, my Ohana, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hey, now you guys have a better understanding of my vision for Tiki Falls 4.0. I hope you guys actually enjoyed it, all right? This one was a tough one to make just because, man, it's, it's a bittersweet for me to break down Tiki Falls 3.0 because I put so much time, so much sweat, so much energy into this pond. But I know in the end it's going to be a plus. Anyways, from all of us here at the Ness to you guys there at home, I appreciate you guys. Don't forget, like I said, to give this video a big like, share it with your friends and loved ones, and we will see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha.